Yo, what's up, people? It's Free Day and you, and today I'll be doing something which I have been doing on the start of my channel. And it's basically, you know, do you guys still remember when I did like the five most slowest movements in Minecraft that it could happen? Yes, uh, I've actually now decided to do another thing like that, but the difference is today I'll be doing the 10 most interesting, interesting things that you probably never known about Minecraft. So basically, yeah, I found some things that probably people didn't know about Minecraft. And you know what, I decided to share it with you guys, to tell me if you guys already knew for that, if you didn't, and um, yeah, so without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's begin this motherfucker down, and 3, 2, 1, let's go. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, number one is basically the water and lava source. Basically, as you can tell, the lava and water are a bit different, because if you look at the travel path from lava, if you put it on the set, if you put it above the ground, it will... It will basically uh, make make a path up to uh, will make a path to uh, one, two, three, four, five blocks. Now, if you place it on the ground, it will basically make a path to four blocks. Now, the water is completely different because it takes a longer path, as you can tell. Because if you place it above the ground, it will make a path up up to eight blocks. It goes up to yeah, it goes to up to nine blocks. Now, if you just place it on the ground, it will go to eight blocks away. So eight blocks. So eight blocks away so yeah it actually looks pretty cool and um yeah that, it is pretty nice uh, i actually didn't knew that before and uh, now i did and um yeah it's amazing so yeah that's a little bit of water so yeah let's go to the number two number two ladies and gentlemen is the holes from nether from nether now as you can see from here you can hardly even see inside this but if you go inside you can see outside this which is amazing isn't it so yeah that's a little bit of nether and uh, let's go to number three all right ladies and gentlemen number three is basically the test of a boat crashing to the soul sand now i will surprise you guys ladies and gentlemen soul sand is the only is the only block that boat cannot crash inside of it so as you can tell yeah it does not even crash when it hits it so isn't that helpful like it's good to place that oh so ladies and gentlemen as you can tell this boy is crashing even more so it, it's even glitching as hell so freaking hell but uh yeah this is like number three uh let's go to number four number four ladies and gentlemen is the thing that probably you guys didn't know uh and that's how i think but uh have you ever tried to have a car inside of the minecraft well this might help you because ladies and gentlemen as you can tell i'm driving minecart with the pig with the saddle inside and it still works like a legitimate car. Well, yeah, technically, because it goes slow like sh like a freaking snail, even worse. But uh, still, ladies and gentlemen, it's a helpful helpful vehicle. Like in vanilla Minecraft, you don't need any mods, and it still works. And basically, you need to press backwards because it doesn't work any else. Uh, because it doesn't work if you press forwards, you just go back. So you know. But uh, yeah, it is a really helpful thing. It doesn't really work like it doesn't really go upper blocks. But still, if you need something for like the round for the round of vehicle it still works so yeah that's pretty cool and um yeah ladies and gentlemen without further ado let's go to the number five all right ladies and gentlemen number five is basically difference between stairs and slabs basically you're running on them so ladies and gentlemen i don't think if anyone has never knew that well i'm pretty sure someone has noticed it but uh if you if you walk on stairs you will lose your pace as you can tell but if you run on slabs, you will never lose your pace, which is a bit more helpful. Like if you want to run somewhere, especially in survival games where you're running, it's really like bad to walk on stairs because you will lose your pace. But if you go on slabs, it will still work like as a legitimate running. So yeah, that's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, without further ado, let's go to the number six. All right, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, number six is the nice looking alter. It's nice. It's nice looking uh, infinite water source. Now, as you can tell, I just put a little iron. A block here and it's not even hard to make this thing like you basically you just put you just put like uh water here water here and then ladies and gentlemen you have infinite water source want to prove i'm just gonna go in and in survival mode and bucket boom bucket boom infinite source completed it really works ladies and gentlemen it works amazingly so I, I, I also really love it because it's really easy to make it's perfect for sky blocks or any kind of survival thing uh, For like a sky block when you don't have a water source and this is just perfect for it And then you just put like a pressure plate or anything that holds water in front of you and it's perfect So yeah, it's, yeah, it's pretty cool and um, yeah, let's go to the number six I hope I'm not dumb. I hope I'm not dumb. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry, I meant to say seven. But this is number seven, ladies and gentlemen. 
I'm pretty sure everybody knows of you that if you put slabs on the ice, that will basically, like, you know, still slide you. But I didn't know that even if you put cakes, it still works like that. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. By the way, I'm using the 3D obje objects texture pack. It actually looks, uh, makes Mark a bit more realistic. Uh, if we talk about circles and all stuff. But, uh, yeah, this is how it works on cakes. Uh, I never knew that. But, um, yeah, it's nothing, it's nothing, like, really amazing but like that or, or anything but it looks pretty cool but uh yeah let's go to the next one which is i believe number eight all right ladies and gentlemen number eight is all about the name tags yeah basically uh there are some name tags that actually changes the sta status of the mob or any kind of mob and um yeah you you, uh, you might already know for two but for two you probably didn't know like Right here we have Dirtbone and Jep, and right over here we have Boob and Toast. Now I'm pretty sure you didn't know for the last two, but uh, first of all, I'm gonna show you like for the for these ones. So this is Jem underscore. I'm pretty sure everybody knows what happens when you name tag when you tag a, a sheep with the name Jab underscore. It basically starts changing changing its color on the wool, but if you kill it, it will still give you a main white color. So yeah, it doesn't don't expect it will give you the color which uh, shows you. But uh, yeah, uh, if you put a uh, dinner bone on any kind of mob, uh, as if it's normal, um, basically it will just make it upside down. Now, it doesn't work for a villager, I see. So yeah, a uh, villager sucks ass. However, <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, we're moving on to the two, which uh, which I'm pretty sure you didn't know about. So this is the, this is the name tag, Boob. Yeah, now everyone will be probably going, yeah, damn, what the hell, there's a name tag, Boob. Well, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, this is actually truly working. If you name tag a uh, tamed dog with the name tag boob and basically after you kill it, let me just take a sword, it will actually not show up uh, the name of the animal, it actually will actually just show up the name of itself. So it is pretty funny. So as you can tell it says boob was slain by the DMFRD. So yeah, it actually works like that and it's actually working boob. <laughs> And the last one we got right here is called Toast. Now, first of all, I'll just change the textures of this rabbits, and then I'll tell you what's the secret about the Toast. Now, basically, the Toast, uh, I'm going to put a picture of the actual thing, what, I, what it actually is right here. But, boom. So, yeah, right here, the Toast is apparently one rabbit in Minecraft that was apparently made up in grave or something like that. I'm not really sure what's the point of it, but, uh, yeah, it's basically... If you name tag, uh, a, if you rename a the name tag to a name uh, Toast, it will change the texture of the. Uh, it will change the texture of the classic rabbit to a uh, texture of a Toast, which is exactly the same thing as it was shown in the picture you just saw before. So yeah, this is Toast, and um, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, let's go to the number nine. All right, ladies and gentlemen, number nine is basically a uh, water circulated nether portal. Now, as you can see. I mean, water surrounded. I mean, nether portal surrounded by water. Now, as you can tell, this may look really weird, but nether portal will still work even if you put water, uh, water, uh, above it. So, yeah, um, it does work like that, but it doesn't work if you make it in the water. So it won't work that way, but it works if it's a if you put water on it. So yeah, don't be scared if you suddenly if you accidentally put water on nether portal, it will still work. Now, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's go to the last one, number 10. Now, number 10, ladies and gentlemen, is basically this. So, as you can tell, uh, right here we have the nice little, nice little water source right here. And as you can see, through the ice, you can actually not see it. Well, I don't think you can barely see it, but I, I, I well, I, I cannot see it. I don't know, guys, if you can see it, but I, I don't. So, yeah, this is like a little Easter egg. You cannot see it. You cannot see water through the ice. So yeah, it is a um, pretty funny thing, like you can actually see it here, but you can't see it here. But again, you can see it here, but if you look at the eyes, you cannot see it again. So yeah, isn't that freaking sick? So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, this has been the, the first episode of uh, me showing you the top, top 10 interesting things about Minecraft that you probably didn't know before. If you want me to do more of these episodes, tell me in the comments what kind of stuff have you seen guys that you never like knew about it before. And I will now record it and upload it so everyone else can see it. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you didn't enjoy this episode, leave a like as well. As I said, leave us uh, leave a comment if you see it and anything like that as well. And um, yeah, as well, go and ask our fan page and ask me questions because, ladies and gentlemen, I haven't done Q and A in like two or three weeks because I just didn't, I just didn't get any questions. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching and uh, peace.